All right, today we're going to learn about the static method built in function in Python 3. As always, let's start by looking at the docs. So a static method does not receive an implicit first argument. An implicit first argument would be in here, you would see self or you would see see something like that. Um, so if we go to the class method docs, just reviewing a little bit, you'll see that class method receives the class as the first implicit argument, and that's represented by the CLS. Going back here, we don't have the CLS, we don't have self or anything like that. So just no implicit first argument. So I went ahead and set up a little car class for us, and I created the three the three basic types of methods, right? We have an instance method or just a normal a normal method, just a normal function. Uh, we have our class method with the decorator, and we have our static method with the decorator. Again, static method is the one we're going to talk about today. So what you'll notice is that the instance method has self as its first parameter, and we're returning that as well. The class method has the class as the parameter, and we're returning that as well. And then static method has nothing uh, because, again, no implicit first parameter. So we're going to go ahead and import static method as the name of the file, static method.py. And we're going to go ahead and instantiate a class here. So static method.car, capital C, car. Boom, we have our car. We can take a look and see our car object. So let's start by printing our first method, the instance method. You'll see uh, my instance string here that I wrote out, and we'll see the uh, instance of the car represented here. Now, if we went and printed out the class method, we see my class method string, of course, and what we see is the class itself, the CLS. This is the class, and you can kind of see how this is different. This is an object. This is the class itself. Now, what if we go and we print out the static method? Now, all we have is my string. So, in conclusion, I would say the use case for a static method is when you don't need the self or the class, you don't really need to access it. Uh, in other words, if you don't need access to this instance of the car or you don't need access to the car itself, you're better off just playing it safe with a good old static method.